Ooh, sorry. Didn't know if that messed with y'all. Anyways, what is going on, everybody? Uh, happy holidays to everybody that has a holiday today. Christians, Muslims, Jews, all of us. And I hope everybody that doesn't partake in those holidays is having a great day. So, little things that uh, update y'all on some stuff with the clan here. Had this massive room built. And we've also got this beam built. I'm not gonna say what this is, simply just because this, uh. There's a, a quest that comes with this, so I don't want to spoil anything that will happen within this series. Let's see. notice that. Alright. There's Neza. There's Volt. Zephra. So that is three Warframes added to um, added to the roster eventually. Those three will be added after we get all the research done for them. So I'm not going to make the video too terribly long to where y'all also see the research for you really be finished. As you can see, it's got two hours on it. I'm not going to record for two hours. I'm not going to make y'all sit through a two-hour video. However, I honestly, though, this, this kind of is a cool place. <laughs> So this one I am going to show things that are a little bit different. Um, so these aren't necessarily different. This is more just, hey, if you want to get something, like for instance, the field draw and the media masses that we have been needing for the clan, you can get them through invasions as well. You don't have to get them through the clan, even though it is appreciated when you do do that. Um, if you do join or have joined. <clears throat> My purpose for this video is actually going to be finishing up Deimos and doing and getting started on Circe. Let's see. Anything over here? Always a pleasure. And we're out. Ooh. If this is the same assassination I'm thinking it is, this is gonna take a minute. Right. 
thinking I was playing as a for a second. Thinking I'm playing that. Thank you. 
toxic. Toxic agent. Yep, that'll do it. That'll do it. Anyways. Look, there's caches. That's what I'm doing. So much. I hear one, actually. Hey. Find out you what found got the first me. resource cache. I'm detecting two more faint hints. Let's see if there's anything up here. Oh. We gotta do a codex video at some point just to go over what we've all we've unlocked. Is that the right word here? Yeah, I guess unlock would be the right word because I mean, we don't get the stories unless another I have done the codex, or killed out the codex. So, if you have not seen the TikTok, uh, have ranked up with Fortuna, putting us at rank 2, uh, ranked up with the Vent Kids as well, uh, currently haven't really messed with Cetus all that much off camera to have any sort of news on that. Um,
anything involving Cetus. Still currently trying to get the stuff for the Arcwing launcher. Uh, look, the Arcwing Arc Wing launcher segment. That will allow us to build the Arcwing launcher. Um. Oh, in getting the vet kids ranked up. We do have a new mod for the K-Drive. It is already on it. I will show y'all it's um sometime soon. Not entirely sure when. Probably the next time I debut a war. Which we're at rank 13 right now with Excalibur. So probably by the end of Surse. Or Metal of Surse. Now for those of you that are mainly here just to get like West playthrough. Don't really get a lot of bit later on. We're sort of right now in that middle ground where you can do side quests, certain side quests. However, um, I'm currently waiting on Borrow Gatir to come back to a relay so I can buy a uh, blueprint for a quest. The Sands of Inaris quest to be specific. Inaris, while a lot of people don't really like him, I really do for the sheer fact that it is relatively easy to do certain things um, or certain uh, endless missions there we go survival being one of them um, defense not so much just uh, what is it disruption being the other.
next year, I will do a <laughs> one of the Grandium Void albums. I'm gonna do one of the things that I go to do for her. Also show you all that you really shouldn't be expecting her to be here anytime soon. Ooh, I didn't be on screen anytime soon. I mean, Seventh Curl makes it a pain to farm. Um, drop rates for her super low. If I remember right, I looked it up earlier today. Um, It's like 11 point something chance, like it's a small percent chance of getting her. Like just the neuroptics and the easy one. And you get the same amount, same percent chance of getting it in. The uh. What is it? And the next one above it. Same percent chance of getting the chassis and the hardest one. Might have those two mixed up, whereas the systems, that's the hardest one, and the chassis and the medium difficulty one. beam device, but they've taken the void key. Find it. Oh, yay. Love this mission. Time to 
your string cheese. Bada ping, bada the key. Now get back to the portal. Atala, bye bye. And everything goes full in thirty seconds. Go through the portal now. It's about to collapse. To the dojo and then home. I will actually show you all a couple of things um, that I picked up off camera just to brag, I guess, or just to show. Objective complete. The void key and torch device are out of condition. Legit good the reason for me to do a lot of things soon. off camera. All your objectives are complete. Proceed to extraction now. I got two neural sensors. Not nanospores. Ooh. Mutagen symbols, neurodes. Don't we need those for a couple of these? That's almost done. J just to make life easier. Okay, so there actually wasn't anything that could use what we had just picked up. That or I didn't have enough to just throw it in there and be okay. So for tuna, we are very close to actually getting to rank two because of a lot of things that I did off camera. My daily standing reset. My do few bounties. Haven't really messed with the intradi that much. I need to. Haven't really messed with them any. Haven't really messed with them any either. Need to do more with these guys. You, you are on the verge of a new truth. You see, okay, so my luck is terrible. Even if I were to max out the relic that has that uh, my relic is terrible Advancement my imminent. luck is terrible uh, so more data. chances of me getting those things to rank up are very low so don't expect me to be doing a lot with them right now mm. let's see quest we have completed so far I'm yes, I'm surprised it took me like 
so little time to complete this quest. Start the Magna Raptics, I guess. Oh, so some things that we picked up off screen was these Garuda systems and Garuda Neuroptics. So we had actually picked these up off camera. It's gonna be a minute before I can build these due to this, these, this. Like, a lot of these are going to take me a minute to get because, well, let me just show you. Now, I'm pretty sure I can probably buy the, the blueprints to make those real quick. Um... We are going to still finish up demos this video, and oh wow, this video is already half an hour long. So this video might end up being a long one. Um, let me just show y'all. Checked into the machine shop to get my mic serviced. Can't bloody sleep. The taxmen have imposed strict limits on the mining ventures we Solaris can undertake. Which I don't approve of, but I can't do anything about! So, go out and do it for me. So, this is why it's gonna take a while. I have to get this, which I can actually go ahead and do. I'm not ranked up to where I can get this. And I have three ranks to go up in order to get this. So, yeah. Garuda is going to take a good long while for me to get. Also, because the resources needed to make this are rare. Um, same with this one. This one I can actually go ahead and make a few. Uh, I can probably make enough to do the, the whole thing. And I think, I'm pretty sure I need to get this as well. I'm not entirely sure. Um, that should do you quite nicely, I should think. Now, Archon Crystals. They've not been found on Venus. But if they were, well, that would support my Tellurium theory now, wouldn't it? Go ahead and do that real quick. Um, I bid you the warmest of farewells. Garuda Prime. So this is the Prime version of the Warframe that we are going. I just mentioned it's going to take a while to farm. The reason I had even noticed that it was it was because of these claws right here. So yeah, that's why it's going to take a while for us to see Garuda on screen. Gara is the same way. Because of the resources that is are needed to get her are very rare or the stuff needed to make her their resources are very rare. Like, unless let's see Iridite, it's not rare, it just takes a while to get uh, a good bit of it because the clusters normally only give you like one, maybe three if you're lucky. Um, Cetus Wisp, uh, give me one second. I don't remember what the spawn rate of those are. I can, however, find out real quick. A 
Okay, and this is the official wiki page. All of this is straight from the developers themselves for the most part, or backed up by them. Um, as you can tell, we are kind of not at where we need, need to be in order to get this resource fairly easy. So the quills, we can't even interact with them really up until much later on into the game due to us needing something or needing access to someone. Uh, my bad. Now some of these we can do just a little bit in order to even just try to get um, to get it. As you can tell, drop rate not that high. Now they do randomly spawn. Um, let's see. And like, here's a few areas where they do. So this is like, yeah, here's a few areas where they do. However, again, for them to pop up here very um are very hard to get like they're very hard to find as you can s like the, c the scanners aren't going to pick them up thieves wits loot detector i didn't even know that this one was a thing i didn't even know about this mod i'm have to find this Yes, these will help, however, um, I mean, yeah, they're, like, only needed for one component of two Super Warframes, along with a couple other things, um, they're just hard to find, because they disappear within the time period of you seeing them and them seeing you. Yeah. For approximately five seconds before flying up towards the sky and disappearing in a small burst of light, they will be deposited in the player's inventory should the player manage to touch it. So essentially, once you see it, you have five seconds to get it. So, yeah. I mean, drop rate's not that high. Um, am I going to still try to get it? Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. So, yeah, just thought I'd let y'all know. Don't expect to see either of these two for a good while due to the drop rates of some of the stuff that is needed to make them. Um. The toroids, they're hard to come by to begin with. Um, now, the hydroid chassis and neuroptics, those we can actually get fairly, we can get the stuff for this fairly quick. Um, Ivara, not really. Korra, again, not right now at least due to, again, one of the things needed to get her. And, like, a lot of her systems are, a lot of her parts are, you only get within the onslaught, and, yeah, that's a pain to deal with, just in general. Because I think the chances of you getting her, hold up, I gotta lower the camera a little bit, there we go. Chances of you getting her are her parts are fairly low. I think. Hold up, I gotta open this back up again. And cut. Okay, so for so for Cora, these are where you find them. Normal sanctuary drop rates again not that high. I'm generally surprised that we even got the chassis. Um, let's 
see. Oh, another thing. Um, the Kavat genetic code we do not have the ability to actually get right now. Don't have a Kavat. We don't even have the Kavat incubator segment, so we can't even breed one or yeah, breed one regardless because we don't have this. And yeah, again, I'm trying to do this as in like no money being really involved. Yes, did I buy the Prime Access this month? Not the Prime Access, the Prime Vault. Yes, I did. However, those are more than likely going to be the only, sorry, the only Primes that I even buy unless y'all request it in the comments. And even then, I would prefer that you send money over to, through the Patreon, in order for me to get it. <clears throat> because, as much as I want this playthrough to go through all the way, I can't do that without the support of you guys. Oh, we did buy this. We did buy a little kit gun here. I've never used one of these. So, we're just, yeah, I just grabbed one. Anyways, um, arc wing launcher segment, fairly close to being done with this. Uh, fuel drum, we can get a few more of those, same with Mutagy Mass. Uh, Patreon is, is currently still mixed Tenno, I will go in and change that. Or mixed species, I will go in and change that, um. Bring Helios back out. Alright, well, actually, this is going to be an Easter special, I guess. Or. What is the word? Admiranic? Um. Holid. Yeah. Abraham. This is a mobile defense mission. You must deliver payloads and defend a number of locations while I break into the network. Be prepared for heavy resistance. I can't do this without you. Abrahamic religion. The holiday special. There we go. spotted. Upload me and prepare to defend. This will only get more difficult. Get to a terminal and prepare for enemy resistance. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. was a juggernaut. They were lured out by the death of Infested. Lay low and it should go away or amp up the fight to draw it out. Still working on it. Continue to defend. detecting signs of a juggernaut. Move on. You are safe. I'm surprised he didn't show up. I felt like I was doing my best to draw him out. The spawn rates were not there. Heavy infestation ahead. 
Here is a terminal. Get me in and get ready to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Location reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Again, after we finish demos, that will more than likely actually be it, because this video is already almost an hour long. I don't want to make this too terribly long. So, three more missions, and yeah, that more than likely will be it. We're going to get a lot of nanospores today. I didn't even show you all that I got. Well, let's do enough camera, do enough camera stuff. Wrong thing. Hold up. In a world like this, it can be. There we go. So, this one I did get. Also upgraded it. Uh, got three of these. This one. This one. Thermatic shells, and tech gravity. Yeah. We 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 were busy. A <laughs> uh, couple of arc gun, arc wing, and arc gun mods. I thought I had another eyes and sculpture to show y'all. I uh, guess I probably turned into endo. All right, Festus. 
think if this is the one I'm thinking it is, we are going to be here for a while, and depending on how long it, if this is what I think it is, it might just be the end of the video. Because there, there is one assassination mission, and it used to be on this planet, or planetoid. Assassination contracts are not to be taken lightly. Eliminating this target will have a significant impact on enemy forces. Search the area. Leave no survivors. It was and difficult to locate the source vector of this sector's infestation, but you are finally here. And no joke, this thing is, is difficult, normally takes forever, so... <laughs> if this does end up being the end of the video... Yeah, it more than likely is going to be unless they made this significantly easier when they train when they must. A juggernaut nearby. It will only attack when it senses high concentrations of infested blood. Slow the fight if you want it to go away. Now I want it to come out here. Within this millennia old Orican returned infested ship lurks a creature created to fight in the old war. Make your way to its location and dispatch this monster. Detecting signs of a juggernaut. Move on. Am I just not doing enough damage to Multiple targets bring out ahead. a juggernaut? So, for those that have never played War are confused with what the old world was. The creature has grown unfathomably strong through centuries of absorbing matter and self-replication. Anyways, um... Out of this, so this thing is decent. Oh, crap!
remember right, shooting is the only way to take these guys out. Come on. does not seem like they changed this assassination at all. Oh, it's only taken us 10 minutes? Oh, no, they actually did make this a lot easier then. I've only been doing this for 7 minutes. Damn, I'm already at this part.
that was significantly easier than what I remember. Nice work taking down the VIP. Now get uh, to let's extraction. Let's get out of here. See what we got. <laughs> again, I don't know that. I'm curious to see if they let us get something from there now. They won't be bothering us anymore. Let's get out of here. You're kidding. You're kidding me. Ooh, he's one of my favorites. Okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna be doing this one off camera a good bit because I love that repeat. I love this Warframe. If you do not, then you are further, like, you're past the second dream part. What are you doing? <laughs> the inbox has messages for the operator. Anything yeah, after the second dream, yeah. you are gonna be seeing him a lot, especially if it's a video where I farm. A specific resource trust me you will see him a lot not do not remember what this test is but we are going to do it yeah we'll do it real quick time to test your marksmanship Mm. Track and shoot all targets. These tests are not the same for everybody. Well, yes, it is the same principle. It is not the same pattern, same um, spawn rate, whatever. Just, just so y'all know. By the way, it's like the first 23 are fairly easy. Um. No, 22 are easy. 23 is where it starts getting really difficult, at least for these tests. If you want to practice these at least twice once you reach the double digits. Because while I say they are easy, in hindsight they are now. After doing them and the test that they had tested me in of multiple multiple times and there we go a formidable performance this test is now complete another job well executed I almost want to end it on this video actually hold up yep sorry wrong screen Let me take a picture of this. I, I, I'm upset. I can't take a picture of this. I want to take a picture of this and use it for my. Wow. Okay. Unread inbox messages make me ill. Mm. And time to add to the wall. Add to the wall. Add to the wall.
Operator, I run diagnostic regressions. All systems nominal. You don't need to thank me. Yeah, there we go. That looks a bit better. And the wall has grown and shrunk. this video is an already long enough um now at the end of the video this is what you are seeing however the thumbnail is going to be different because I will work off camera in order to get the complete finish of Deimos and use that for a thumbnail um, but yeah so just to explain that's how I have been I have done the last video and will be doing this video as well is having just one or two nodes left and then completing it off camera I'm not trying to exclude y'all from that experience of me completing it however normally the last two missions are stuff that is pretty repetitive at least throughout the entire game wise it is meaning as if they're normally non everlasting missions or endurance missions whatever you want to call them um, so yeah that will be the actual end of this video uh, I hope y'all are having a good day happy whatever holiday you're celebrating have a nice y'all have a nice day my lovely memories remember you are never forgotten just always try to be that pleasant memory inside somebody's mind be easy